Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. Last episode, we left off at Y level 0 with Bedrock. Today, we are upgrading to 1.18. So to start, let's open the world in the new version and see what happens. Okay, that doesn't look good. I made a backup just in case this goes terribly wrong. And there we are. The bedrock's been replaced with Deep Slate, which means we are in the new version now. So let's start caving. Why not? I mean, we don't really need ores right now, but I want to see at least one of the new caves below zero. Hmm, that, that was kinda laggy. Let's place as many torches as we can, let's spam them all around, and see if we can find something. Like tough. Uh, I like tough. Okay, yes, I'm, I'm bored already. Let's get back up. Home sweet home. Apparently the transition didn't break anything. That's good. All the buildings are looking as good as they can be. Or as good as I can make them be. But yes, last episode we built this greenhouse for our bees and I've been farming some honeycomb to craft beehives. And I think we have a few ones with bees already, which we will use later on when we build an automatic bee farm. And we also built this slime processor facility, which is a slime farm. And it's been working pretty nicely. I hope the slime chunk is still down there though, in the new version. But I guess we'll find out about later on because we have a problem i mean look at them even when they are green they still want to work they are they are amazing I, i'm gonna lock them in place for later but still we are gonna need to cure these guys and for that we need potions and for potions we need to find a fortress in the nether yes another nether adventure i love the nether in hardcore such a safe place to chill i have a strategy though don't worry there's a way, I think, to find the fortress without facing too many bodies. And for that, I'm going to need a fishing rod, a mushroom, and a saddle. We are going to ride a strider, and hopefully that will be fun. Let's set up a bow to fight the blazes and gusts. Hmm. Power one is better than nothing, I guess. What? What are you doing here? Okay, come on. We don't want another accident like the one with Tangerine. Rudolph, come here, Rudolph. Yes, I, I'm, that's it. Let's go. If I do this, great. Boat with legs. I guess we are safe down here, unless we fall into the lava. But I think that shouldn't happen unless I press shift by accident, thing that I will not do. Okay, that's not another fortress, but we, we can explore. It's a dangerous place, I, I won't lie, I'm I'm absolutely terrified. But yes, oh, it, it has nether ward, and we need that. It's right there, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take it. I, I'm gonna regret this as well, but let's do it. You stay here, and okay. If we are extremely careful, we should be fine. I can hear them, they, they, are, they are close. Those pickling brutes, they are scary. But here, that's deeper than source, right? Well, axis in this case. Oh my. We are fine, he didn't see me. Okay, he didn't loop around, come on. Okay, yeah, that was... that was easy. Oh no, these guys. Okay, they're cool. Let's do it. I want to loot this, but if I just break it, that should be fine, right? Mm, I was hoping for something better, but it's okay. We had the nether ward, and we still can get back here when we are stronger. And off we go. Next stop, Nether Fortress. Hopefully. I've been exploring for half an hour now. 
I was hoping to find a big lava lake with a fortress somewhere around, but I just find small ones and it's getting kinda tricky to traverse them. So, well, I, I think I want to explore a little bit on land. Look at this view. They managed to make the nether look pretty. Okay, let's, let's stop somewhere around here. Let's mark the way. We can get easily lost inside this forest. Okay, there it is. The fortress. <laughs> that, that was actually quite lucky. Anyways, let's go in and do our best not to get ourselves killed. We just need some blaze rods. That should be easy, right? I can already hear them. And the resource pounder. Let's block this way. We don't want any wither skeleton behind us. Okay, we got two so far. I'm gonna spend some time here and farm some more of this, so we don't need to come back in the near future. I managed to farm 16, hopefully that will be enough for our needs. And now it's time to find our way back home. Rudolf, I'm back. It's time to go back. I promise I will make a house for you at some point, but for, for now this will have to do the work. I'll make it big so you have space to walk or float, I don't know, whatever you are doing there with those legs. Brewing stand, water, fermented eye, it's potion time. Okay, we are ready to cure our villagers. This should be the easy one. And for these guys, I think the smart way is to place them inside boats, separate boats. Otherwise, they will cure and convert each other again, and we don't want that. Okay, amazing. That really, I really I didn't expect it to go so well. Welcome back to the side of the living. Let's see your prices. Oh. That's cheap. And now we are all cured and happy again. Okay, so apparently the slime farm is working perfectly. As I said before, I was afraid that the slime chunk would maybe change position with the change of version, but now they are still splatting in the floor. I have an idea. Since we have potions now, I think there is a good way to use them wisely in our favor to explore the new caves. But for that, I'm gonna need first to do some fishing. If I remember correctly, this is the ingredient for water breathing. Yes! Anyways, with that, and with night vision, I think we are ready to tackle another adventure. Hopefully we find a massive cave to explore. Okay, so let's travel this way. I think it's east. It doesn't matter. I haven't explored much in this direction, so I figured out why not. A savannah village. We don't need anything really from here. Oh, a cat. Careful. Best friends forever. I won't ever let you go. You saw nothing. Hmm. I think this terrain is already showing some new 1.18 features. So let's start exploring here and see what we can find. Instead of digging, I think the best way is to hope to find a cave system that is so big that pokes out of the ground. 
that's that makes sense okay this is dark enough let's drink the first night vision potion i will never say no to a copper ore. we still need to remember though that these caves are unlit so placing some torches is a good idea otherwise we'll get surrounded pretty easily Oh no! Anyways, the copper. Best friends forever. Now it's a good time for our water breathing potion. I was saving them, but really, what for? I mean, we need it now. And look at the cave! Massive and underwater! I shouldn't be this excited about a game, really, but I mean, I am. It's better than I ever hoped for. Being underwater makes it feel safer. I won't have a creeper falling off the ceiling. Luckily, we came prepared. And we are back home. This is all we found, in fact. Let's see how many diamonds we got from this. Forty-eight is a good number. Plus twenty-nine, we are over the stack. That's nice. But the thing we were actually looking for was gold. Yep, gold blocks for the build. And luckily we didn't find enough. So, I didn't want to do this, but I'm back in the nether. I'll search at white level 10 or so, that way we can also find some netherite if we are lucky. gold blocks and nine ancient debris is pretty good for the time we spend there. That means we can have our pickaxe and something else upgraded. I guess I'll go for the javel. They just run out too quickly. There is something that I've been neglecting all this time, and that's the interior of the forge. So I worked a bit of camera. I didn't add too many details yet, but at least it's looking way more complete now. The librarians have a new home, and that way, we can use the tower for its original purpose, an enchanting room. So, I'm going to build a spiral staircase to get ourselves up. It's a very simple one, nothing too fancy. And at the top, I want the enchanting table to be kind of floating me there. And I think some floating bookshelves might work as well sort of broken down maybe yes i think it's looking nice this is looking like a proper enchanting room now and i've been careful enough so the level of enchanting is still 30. okay new day new farm we need to farm honeycomb faster so this is a temporary farm which we'll probably use later on, on the permanent farm. But now I've been actually gathering some materials, because it's time to build. It's time we have a windmill. It's time for a time lapse.
To be honest, the windmill blades are the weirdest I could come up with. But I like them. Oh, another cut. This time, we'll be friends forever. Just hold on a second, I need some fish. This is harder than it looks. And to make it plain and straight that I care about you, we'll give you a name. Yes, that suits you. Because you will protect me from unexpected creepers. But for now, you will stay here. Another thing I've been neglecting are paths and decorations. Now we have that. At least here. It just looks nice and gives a certain flow to the build. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Inside the windmill, I'll move the villager breeder at some point, and outside we'll make some market stalls for our farmers, so we can trade with them whenever we want. Of course, I'm not gonna lock them there, I worked on a design similar to the ones for the villagers inside the forge, so they will just be locked in place during the working hours, and the system, everything will go just underground, so we don't see the ugly part. Oops, a creeper, watch out. Another one of you. Why not? The stalls are in place, and now it's time to bring the villagers in. Come on, be free. You are adults now. You are free to go anywhere, so just go to work. And of course, it doesn't work. This is the system. It's simple. And probably a redstone genius will hit me in the head for doing this in the least compact way. And still, I don't know why it doesn't work. Good morning. If you can't pathfind from up here, I will have to move you to an uglier house. Okay, you asked for it. Come on. And there we go, attempt number two. Attempt number three. Of course, I, I don't know what I was... Okay, the uglier house is ready. This is self-explanatory. If you wonder what I was doing, well, I was moving the rest of the villagers to the windmill. And now I understand why cats don't like water. That's, that's kind of creepy. Let's just breathe. And okay, while I waited, I decorated the place a little bit more. I didn't touch the rest on design. Honestly, I'm just praying it fixed itself. And if that doesn't work, well, we know what will happen, right? Attempt number four. Oh yes, it worked. I'm, I'm so happy right now. Now it's your turn. And yes, of course it works. I had no doubts about it. Flawless Designs by Calvin. Okay, we have one last build planned for today. The one for which we've been gathering all the gold blocks and the honeycomb. Still we need a few more bees nests, so I'm just exploring a little bit more to see if I can find some. And there's already one in sight. What? I, do I don't understand. The number of bees is crazy. Anyways, I need the beehive, so I'm sorry. Okay, more cats. We are finally ready. Without further ado, let's roll one last time lapse.
and so it's done. I went ahead and removed the temporary bee farm while also adding sort of a path, which still needs some work and love, but it's something. This beagle is really colorful, it was fun to build, and the idea for the design was to have something similar to the slime facility, but looking a lot more maintained without the oxidation and dirty windows. There are some details I want to add, but for them I will actually need the farm to produce honey, so I've been working on that as well, therefore we have everything ready to go. We just need to place the beehives. Those are the easy ones, because they are empty. Okay. We got to fill these with bottles and breathe them carefully over the time. And look at that, we already got some honey from it. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. We did quite a lot actually. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. This has been Calvin, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.